Before we get into the video guys, I just want to quickly say I've got a couple of rule ideas to think of possibly adding in for the next race. So let me know everything in the comments down below and in the straw poll that will be linked in the description down below. But essentially, my idea for this new rule is that, um, so it's not unfair on any of the other drivers. When I replace a driver in a team, so for example, in this case, Felipe Nazar in the previous race and I finished in P7, I think it's fair that I get the points that I get for finishing that position. And then I can also give the points to Felipe Nazar if you guys want me to. Even though I didn't, even though he didn't actually take part in the race. So, for example, say if I was to race in a Ferrari and I won the race and I was driving as Kimi Raikkonen, I can give myself 25 points and I'll also give Kimi Raikkonen himself 25 points. So, let me know what you think of that idea in the comments down below and in the straw poll. So, yeah, without further ado, we're going to jump straight into the video. Yo, what's going on, guys? It is Tom. Welcome back to a brand new video, and this is episode number five of my F1 2015 Full House. And as you can see, we are not in the sab, but we've decided to switch it up, and I've decided to go for the McLaren Honda for this Spanish Grand Prix. And uh, before you start going raging at the comments and everything, the car feels actually okay around here. Bar the main pit straight, where I'm going to really, really struggle. The rest of the track is okay, so I think I might be able to survive around here. And um, the reason I've gone for this is because I really want to get out of that um, that bottom four cars, and I want to try and go into something better for the Monaco Grand Prix, which is the next race after this, where we're going to need to try and get a result, because we badly, badly, badly need to get our championship challenge underway. So, um, as you can see here in Spain, and um, it's one of my favorite tracks on the calendar, actually. I really, really like the track on this game for some reason. All the the cars seem to work really nice. If you've got a good car and a good setup, the, the track just really feels nice and the tyres don't wear too badly. So, um, here we are on the grid as per usual and hopefully we can try to get underway in this race and have a good result because, like I said, we need to get a really good result to get into a better car. So, a top six is necessary this race as we gear up to five red lights for the Spanish Grand Prix and we are underway here getting a pretty poor start actually in the McLaren Honda there. Not very good off the line and we're going to be really, really struggling to get up to speed down this pit straight as we make our way down to the first corner. And I'm just going to try and pull over to the left to get a bit of sit stream off of the two manners now as we make our way into the first corner now, going down the gears up the side of Stevens and Merry there. And then we're going to try and make the move past them too. Yes, we do. We go around the outside and we get the move done there. So we now go into turn number three on the back of our team and hometown favourite Fernando Alonso as we go up the inside of him. And also, can we try and take maybe Pastor Arnado into the next corner here? We're going to try and go for a very late dive. Dive bomb up the inside. We're also going to overtake Sergio and Perez there. So a double overtake that up the inside. And then we've got Sansa and Nazo ahead of us going side by side here for position. And we just have to sit on the outside because we're being boxed in by other cars around us. As we're going to try and hang around the outside, but it's no use as um, there's no room there. We're going to have to use the Astro Turf there to get around the outside of Perez. But um, Sansa and Nazo going out. Hammer and Tongs in front of us. So we're going to try and capitalize by trying to pick up the scraps and maybe may possibly make an overtake on Sansa. As you can see, Sansa gets squeezed out there. We're going to just go up the inside and take that position from him. So Nazo's going really, really on the apex there, but we're going to make no evil size nevertheless. And then now we've got the hairpin coming up, the crucial hairpin. We're going to try and go for a little dive bomb here. See if we can try making a move on NASA. We're going to go up through the inside there. Very, very late move, but we are going to make the move stick there. And we're up with the P13 already. So a pretty decent start already in this uh, Spanish Grand Prix. Because obviously this track, even though it's a decent track to drive in, it has got a lot of like, crucial, crucial overtaking zones. So you need to make whatever you get stick. And uh, you've got to really just make the move whenever you can. So now skipping later on to the start line number two. As you can see, we're on the back of Marcus Ericsson and Felipe Nazas teammate and um, as we go through turn number three we're actually going to try and get a very nice cutback move on Ericsson here a lovely little switch back here I'm actually going to take him up the inside just comfortably here with a very very nice move there and uh, Ericsson just couldn't do nothing about it at all so a very nice overtake there on Marcus Ericsson and we're going to be 12 now so Overall, really, really solid start to the rest of the team now on the back of Nika Hulkenberg is on the back of Roman Grosjean. We're going to dive it up the inside of the hairpin there. We're, going to, we're actually struggling in the straight line, but we managed to get on the brakes nice and late. And this is where the McLaren Honda is strongest on the brakes. So um, this is where we've got to make our straight line speed count. As you can see, we're in the system now, Roman Grosjean. We put up into rich mix and we're struggling to keep up in the straight line. But now we're starting to slowly reel Grosjean in on the line number three. As you can see, we're going to pull to the inside. We had a little bit more straight line speed than him just about there in rich mix and loads and loads of tip stream. And we managed to make the move stick. So the McLaren Honda so far isn't too bad in the straight line. I've got um on the rear wing I do have it set to one so the lowest possible drag and the most amount of straight line speed I can possibly get on that rear wing as you see I now got Darius and Max Verstappen as we say our personal best lap of the races we're gonna go past him flying past him in fact down the pit straight with Rich Mix uh, up at the P9 now so you know this McLaren Honda actually is impressing me quite a lot it's not too bad in the straight line we're having the rear wing set to one it's actually giving me some okay straight line speed so um I've gone very aggressive with the, with the setup so like the front wing is very tailored for the corners so I can have plenty of speed for the fast swooping corners but then the rear wing is obviously on one for loads of straight line speed but um, nevertheless resuming onto the action as you can see we're coming in for our pit stop now first pit stop of the race and we've got Massa and Ricardo in the pits with us there so they're going to be our target for the next stint but um, there's a couple of cars that stayed up and our lap and those cars were Bottas and Danny Kvyat I believe so there's a massive four car scrap between the two Williams and the two Red Bulls just now before the pit lanes so before the pit stop so 
it's going to be a bit of an interesting one to see where everyone feeds out because um, the plan is I've put in a lap earlier in what I was going to pit and um, hopefully this one out lap can be good enough for me to undercut um, all the cars ahead of me. As you can see, there's Massa, so we've gained quite a lot on him that lap and there's a couple of cars in the pit lane there and there's two cars exiting the pit right there. As you can see, there's Bottas and I think Kvyat, so it's going to be very close here as we go past Bottas. Can we get Kvyat as well into turn number one? We're going to try and go around the outside and yes, we do and we managed to pull off a lovely double undercut and we're now up at the P7, so we're only one position off of where we want to be for a possible upgrade. As you can see, we're on the back of Felipe Massa now. We put up into rich mix and we've got DRS wide open. Can we possibly try and get Felipe Massa into turn one. We're going to try very hard as with this McLaren Honda engine. We're slowly reeling them in. Can we go for the move? We're going to go for a dive bomb up the inside from quite far back and we are going to make the move stick. I'm running a P6 now into the crucial upgrade position which is exactly where we want to be now in this race. As you can see Skipper later on onto the end of that number 15. Daniel Ricciardo is now in the pit lane and we're going to follow him in because obviously we want to try to take him next as our next target. The guys having the P5 which would mean a very nice upgrade for the next race and I'm hopefully we're going to have a good stop there from the McLaren boys. they got to get to work. Hopefully it's a decent pit stop because we're going to need one minute to maybe possibly um, jump in the pit lane. As you can see, go to the bot, hit that box there. Go to the box with a 2.3 stop. And we've come out ahead of Ricardo. So Ricardo's been held up by someone in the pit lane, but we managed to come out ahead of him. So we've passed Ricardo. We're now in the net fifth place, which is crucial for us. And we're in a very, very good position here in this race. And hopefully we'll try and carry this through onto the end of the race here. So here we go then, skipping later on in the race, as you can see we've got a couple of cars in the pit lane which will allow us to regain our net fifth place and those cars are Kvyat and Bottas. So the two cars that we managed to undercut in the previous team, we've overtaken them once again and we're up in the P5 now so this is absolutely lovely for us guys. And um, I've got to say during this stint we actually settled into the race quite nicely and uh, we had some decent pace, we keeping up with Vettel and like the two Mercedes up, in, up ahead so we had some decent pace. But as you can see in the minute there's a bit of a stack up there and there's some yellow flags so something's going on up ahead. Could this possibly give us an opportunity to overtake some cars here? You can see that there's a Mercedes there, and there's also Alonso, uh, both Ferraris there. We're going to go around the outside. Alonso's holding up both of the Ferraris, so we're going to go around the outside of both of them, up into P3 somehow. Unbelievably, this race, we're into a podium position, and I can't even believe to describe how this just happened, but as you can see, we've got pretty much, uh, let's just say, 13 laps left this race, so we've got 13 laps of hell to try and keep at least these Ferraris behind us, and this would have been an absolutely incredible upgrade for the next race in Monaco. Here comes Vettel, who's going to try and attack us into turn one, but we're going to defend for the time being, and uh, I can tell you that Fernando Alonso, who was holding up everybody there and triggered that incident, he had a puncture. So um, earlier on the lap, Alonso got a puncture, and, and uh, all the top four caught him in the snaky, like, zigzaggy bit, and um, he caused a massive stack up. As now Vettel goes up the inside of the hairpin on lap 20, as you can see. So it took him pretty much half a lap to re overtake us, and uh, we actually managed to stay on, to the, on the back of Vettel for the entire of that, uh, the end of that lap. And um, we actually got Diarrhea now down a pit straight. We're up into Rich Mix. Can we possibly re overtake Vettel into the first corner here and try to get a third place back? We're really, really struggling to catch him in a straight line. We're going to try and dive it up the inside from nowhere, and we're going to try and run out nice and wide to squeeze him out. We managed to get the move back. Uh, we managed to, we managed to make the move stick and get the position back on Vettel there. So somehow we managed to keep Vettel at bay and um, keep him behind us. And you see, skip out at 23. Vettel did not manage to re overtake us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the pit lane now and he's going to follow us in. But hopefully we can try and pull away from him uh, in the first half of the lap. And hopefully the prime tires are good enough to the point where we can maybe keep the gap or try and keep him behind us. Because that would be ideal for us this race. Because third place is going to be absolutely perfect for us in Monaco. And I'm going to cherish this particular position now because obviously third place would mean I think a Williams upgrade for the race in Monaco so third place would be absolutely perfect for us but here we go then we're going to rejoin MP6 by the look of it and there's going to be no traffic at all and as you can see we skipped all the way onto the final lap of the race because Vettel did not manage to keep up with us and we managed to keep the gap to him just outside the DRS range and we're going to come through for a brilliant third place in the Spanish Grand Prix out of nowhere take that I bet a lot of people thought I wouldn't be able to deliver that result in the McLaren Honda, but I've only going to deliver it P3 in the Spanish Grand Prix. An absolutely incredible result. And we actually get on the podium. Unbelievable stuff. I still can't believe it. And um, it's just so, so good to see we're on the podium. And we get ourselves some massive points. 15 points in the championship to really boost us and get us right up the sharp end there. Or at least into the midfield. But um, overall, an absolutely incredible race there, guys. And nothing happened in that final scene. Obviously, the prime tyres tend to be very boring when it comes to action. But um, I kept the gap to Vettel always within the one second range. Just that side one second so that Vettel couldn't get me with DRS down the straight and um, overall the car felt really really good on that prime tyre which helped massively and um, uh, there you go then official confirmation and a huge 
15 points for that race. And the King Rock actually had a 5 second time penalty, so he get demoted down to 7th uh, place, even though they finished in 5th. So, overall, a really, really solid race. An absolutely incredible race for points, and um, one that I'm going to cherish for a long, long time, because obviously 15 points is going to come in very handy for us in the championship, with Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton getting yet another one too for Mercedes and Vettel in 4th. Then it's Bottas and Ricardo rocking that same through the penalty. Massa, Kvyat and Verstappen ran out the top 10. So, overall, an absolutely incredible race, and and um, I bet the Spanish fans would have wished it could have been Alonso in my position instead of uh, Jason Barn taking that third place. But nevertheless, we've got to move on to the driver of this championship and see how we got on after this race. So here we are then, and looking at the Drivers' Championship, as you can see, Nico Rosberg is now leading the World Drivers' Championship. He has overtaken Sebastian Vettel for first place, and as you can see, Lewis Hamilton has also overtaken Kimi Raikkonen, and um, that is the top four. The top four has completely changed on its head, and then looking over in the mid-table, Felipe Massa has actually overtaken Danny Kvyat for seventh place, but other than that, the entire order has stayed exactly the same, and uh, the good news is that, as you can see, me, Danny, ninth place, have actually gone all the way up to 31 points now, so I've really started to make some inroads into that midfield, and uh, hopefully now we're in a better car, and we've got a good chance of cards coming up soon we should be able to maintain and continue doing these good results and hopefully getting loads and loads more points but um overall guys that was the Spanish Grand Prix if you enjoyed it please leave a like down below as it really helps me out and let's even try to smash maybe 80 70 likes on this let's, let's put uh I want to push you guys let's even try to smash 80 likes on this video and um, yeah guys that's about it for this one if you missed any of the other episodes there's a link down below to the playlist if you want to go check it out for yourselves but yeah guys that's about it from me and I'll see you in my next video very very soon so I'm a 27 HD and I'm out of here so you guys goodbye